David Morsley, so the world champion lines up against the Olympic champion, against the former world champion, against the Australian. In the middle there, Morsley, Carcho, Billy and Doyle. The interesting thing about this race, Bruce, is who's going to lead. There is no natural front runners here. Morsley would love a fast pace. He's run some of the fastest times in the world and he runs best off a fast pace. Doyle would pr appreciate a fast pace as well. But if it comes down to a final kick, this man Cacho, the Olympic champion who's next to Morsley, he could take it to him in the straight. He's very, very fast and ran a very quick quarter at the end of his race in uh, the Olympics last year. He is fractionally faster. And if they came off the bend together, I would favor him in a sprint. 50.4 his last lap of the Olympics. Morsley's last lap of the World Championships, 51.2. The difference was that Morsley was running 332. They crossed themselves, they're ready. Set, one of the great races at any World Championships or Olympics, the 1500, the classic distance race. Carcho goes out hard. Billy drops back last. Taki back there. Doyle fourth last. Morsley holds his position. Kicking through El Bashir with Carcho and Morsley. So they're right up the front early. To Napoli fourth. Spivey fifth. Yates next. Doyle tucked away on the inside of Pan Corbo. Stenzel four from the back. Suleiman three from the back. Taki two from the back. They've slowed up. This will suit Carcho. Billy at the back. Carcho second. De Napoli leads. Morsley third. El Bashir fourth. Doyle in fifth spot. But De Napoli won't want to lead and they're walking it. This is going to be a slow final, which is not going to suit a lot of these runners because they're going to be able to wind up. It will suit the people like Morsali. It will certainly suit Cacho. It would suit Abdebele sitting at the back because he'd come around them. Doyle's going to have to put him in a position to put himself in a position to win. He can't afford to stay on the inside or he's going to get caught. Spivey takes it up. It might get quicker. Now Taki goes. Morsali makes the first move to third. Taki of Morocco, an outsider, leads Spivey. Morsali moves up third. First lap, 60.8. Carcho following Morsley. Everywhere he goes, he'll go with him. That's 308. Doyle, the widest runners in the middle of the field. Yates behind him. So the favourite lies second, and the second favourite's third, as Taki leads as they come up with uh, two and a half laps to go. Well, the pace quickens, but everybody's sitting on Morsley, sitting in second spot at the moment. Carcho's got the best position of the lot. He's got the drop. He can means he's going to be able to come off the bend later than Morsley and try and take him in the straight. But Morsley, I would expect, would wind it up a long way out. He's not going to want these fast men sitting on him. Well, the president of the International Federation said Morsley's going to go for the world record here. That's when he decided to run. Well, it doesn't look like they're on world record pace, but Taki's providing some pace for Morsley here. Carcho next. We saw Doyle, who looks to be all right in the middle of the field. Billy's four from the back. Two laps out. Let's set them up. Taki Morocco. Morsley, the world champion. World record holder second. Olympic champion third, Carcho. Fourth, Spivey, the evergreen American. In fifth place, just out of the screen, is Solomon. That was 58. They are getting quicker. Doyle's in sixth position. Napoli behind him. There's Doyle. Yates eight. Ninth stencil, Billy improving around the outside. Yates looks like he's moving through for Great Britain. Doyle's in a good position at the moment. He's got to get on top of Morselli. He can't afford to give him 10 metres start. Now Abdebele comes from the back as well. The big man in blue. He's going to be right in it as well. He's come into this race running a 145. Cacho's run 145 this year. Now they go for it. Morselli will try and move out, you'd think. You wouldn't think that he'd let uh, Cacho pocket him here. He has moved out. Taki leads Morselli and Cacho. We're seeing a repetition of the Olympics of last year. Can Cacho beat Morselli? Morselli does the thing. He's going to take it a long way out. He's set himself up to be beaten. Is he good enough to hang on? The race will quicken now. Now they come. Empty Bailey's moved very quick. 2.43 at the bell. Doyle couldn't quite go. Morsley responds first. Billy second. Cacho third. Yates fourth. Doyle's in eighth spot. Morsley stretching them away. Well, Morsley looks extremely good. The rest of them are under pressure. But if he falters one little bit in the straight, these guys will catch him. Cacho's going to come around Billy now. He's given Morsley a big start. Here comes Cacho. Morsley clear. Cacho to second. World champion leads Olympic champion. Former world champion Billy's in third spot. Doyle's in the centre of the pack. Morsley leads by six metres. Cacho looked back. He must be running for the silver because he keeps looking back. And Morsley's away. The world record holder, the world champ, stun it again from Algeria. Steams away from Cacho and wins the gold. 3.34.24. Great last lap. Second Cacho and third Billy. Very fast last lap, 3.34.24, a 51 second. Doyle's finished in about eighth position. Well, that was phenomenal running by Morsdali, the world record holder, the Olympic...
potential. He missed out on the Olympics last year. There's the Olympic champion, Kacho, congratulating him. Kacho was under pressure, 200 metres out. A 150 out, he started looking around. He's pleased with his effort. The two best athletes in the world today, in fact, the three best athletes, ran first, second and third. It was a great race.